YouTube, hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing yet another prom look. This is a more subtle and sweet prom look, which is a complete opposite from what I did before with the deep, vampy, smoky eye. If you enjoyed that look, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It was a lot of fun to do and a lot of fun to, um, you know, it's not so really, it's not so much as like stepping outside my box because my box isn't very confined when it comes to makeup. I do I do use color a lot. I do do the smoky eyes. I do all of that. So it's not really stepping outside of my box, but if it's something that you tried, it may be stepping outside of your box. To my channel, you guys know Callie is always in here. So please forgive me if she's making too much noise. I can't get her to shut up, so. I use the Fenty Beauty foundation, which is probably one of my favorite foundations ever of all time. And I I just love how it makes my skin look. I think my skin looks absolutely flawless. This is one of the few foundations that this is one of the few foundations that when you use it, it's gonna last. Like it's gonna last. I definitely enjoy that foundation 100 percent I also use a lot of like older products, so a lot of the products in this video are not like new products on the market. They're products that most of us either already have, they've been on the market for a while, so you don't have to worry about them selling out. Um, in this video, I am going to be showing you how I use the Stila, how I use the Stila glitters, because this look does have glitter. But again, it's glitter, but it's very subtle. So this look is more of the softer side of prom. Morning. I look a hot mess during the process of this video. Pre now, I look a hot mess. So warning, please beware, I look a hot mess. If you are new to my channel, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time that I upload a video. Make sure you follow me on my social media platforms. And, and without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Woo! So, I'm looking a little rough right here. My apologies. So, for my brows, I use the Goof Proof by Benefit. And I set it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Sorry about that. That is Cali. I'm priming my eyes with the MAC 24 Hour Extended Eye Base and then I'm going in with the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette. Um, to start off, I'm going to use Peach Mandarin, which of course I will have it on the screen, but it's the creamy white shade and that's going to set my base in my crease area. Then we're going in with the shade Peaches and Cream and I'm going to use that as my transition. Will you guys hear Callie? So it's a light peachy color, which is perfect for transitioning the peach, which is, I guess, like the look that I'm going for. Then with that same blending brush, we're going in with Just Peachy, and we're also going to put that in the crease area, focusing more on the depth of the crease. So more so where that divot is. You just want to take your time with this. It doesn't take long at all. I also use it to contour the insides of my um, eye structure, I guess. So now I'm going in back in with that cream color and I'm just putting that all over the lid. This is just going to serve as a base for the glitter. For glitter, I'm using the Stila Magnificent Metals in the shade Karma Kitten. And, sorry, Callie's getting on my nerves. It is this beautiful golden peach shade. Super beautiful and so easy to apply. I like to place it on the center of the lid because it is extremely concentrated. So we want to have it a little more sheer. So I take the same eyeshadow brush and I'm just spreading it across my eyelid. As you can see, it was very metallic when I placed it on initially, and now it's kind of turning into like this glitter fest on my eyelids. 
Now the thing about this is even though it is a lot less messy than if you were working with loose glitter, it can still get messy, which is why I did my foundation after. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Inglot number 77 gel liner and I'm going to create a wing. I'm just gonna speed through this because this can be pretty tedious. Um, also, this probably wasn't my best wing, but you know, it'll do. I was gonna wear lashes anyway, so it didn't matter. So now moving on to my face, I'm using the NYX, I guess it's the Hydra, Hydra Touch. This is the oil primer. This is my first time actually using it. And I'm using this because the Fenty Beauty is a very matte primer. It's a very matte foundation, so it does absorb oil. So it's good to use a very hydrating um, primer before using a foundation such as this. This is the Fenty Beauty Foundation Pro Filter in the shade 350. So I'm just going to take two pumps of that and I'm going to mix some of the Marc Jacobs Honey Dew Drops, which they are, the consistency is very different. So I'm using a foundation brush and I'm just packing that on. With the Fenty Beauty foundation, you do have to move quickly. Of course, I didn't really move this quickly, like I actually sped this up. But um, at the same time, you know, you do want to work really quick with this. That's why like, I had to take a breath because I was actually working fast. but. I did speed this part up. Now I just added a little more to my beauty blender, which Callie chewed up. And this was a brand new beauty blender also. Like that really pissed me off. Like, yeah. So I went ahead and I added a little more to add to my forehead. The reason I use the beauty blender is because it does absorb some of the products. So I don't like it that thick on my forehead. So going in with my concealer, these are the Makeup Revolution concealers in the shades, sorry, it's Cali, C8 and C11. So I'm using C8 to conceal and C11, no, C11 to conceal and C8 to highlight. So I'm using C8 to place it in all of my highlighted areas. And then we're just going to go in with a beauty blender and blend that out. Now for contour, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matte Matchsticks, and this is in the shade Truffle. And again, we're just going to blend all that out. Oh, <laughs> and then with the Beauty Blender, I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer. Oh. Callie says hi. Now to do a highlighted base, I'm using the shade, um, I believe this was Trippin', yes, Trippin' by Fenty Beauty, and I'm just placing that on the high points of my cheeks. Then I'm going to set with the Cover FX Translucent Powder, and this has no SPF, so it doesn't give, it. I'm not sure if it has SPF, I'm not even going to lie, but I know it doesn't give flashback. So now I'm going to set the rest of my face using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade... Give Me Sun, and I'm using a fluffy Mikasa brush, which I do have a coupon code for if you'd like to save some money on some really nice inexpensive brushes. For bronzer, I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze, Pro, 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 Pro Fusion Bronze, and this is in the shade 351, and I'm just lightly dusting this on the areas because it's not needed. And girl, I told you I look ratchet. I look so ratchet. So I'm going in with the Lorac blush, and this is in techie color. And for some reason, I was really feeling myself at this point. So whatever music I was listening to, I was, yeah. Oh, yeah. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add the blush to my cheeks. And then we're going to move on to highlight. For, oh, I'm sorry, we're not going to move on to highlight. We're going to do under the eyes, and this pencil needs it some serious sharpening. So I'm using the Revlon um, Nude Eyeliner. I actually really love this eyeliner. It's probably one of the best nude eyeliners. And then I'm going back in with Callie. I'm going back in with Pe Just Peachy. And I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lash line. And I sped through this as well. Then don't forget to coat the lower lashes with mascara and set the face. Once I set the face, now I moved on into highlighter. 
So I'm going with the Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby and Mean Money. I'm using Mean Money in the high points of my cheeks because it is more of a subtle highlight. And then in my inner tear ducts, I'm going in with Hustler Baby just because I do want my eyes to pop a little more. Sorry about Callie. I am so sorry. She took a nap and then she had an energy drink. I swear. That's what it seems like. So now that we're finished with our face, I'm going to go ahead and tackle this hair. And I changed my clothes and I came back and here I am. So now for lips, I'm going to line my lips with the NYX Earth Tone Lip Liner. And I'm going to be using Let's Cuddle by Dose of Colors. It's actually one of my favorite nude lipsticks. It's very peachy. Um, I do have to use a brown lip liner, otherwise it just looks absolutely ridiculous. But this is the finished product. I hope you all enjoyed. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, beauties, stay blessed.